Hey guys, welcome to Poppin' with Trinity. I'm your team political analyst and I am always dropping little pieces of positivity. And I'm here to give you guys the recap on Sunday's debate between Joe Biden and Bernie Sanders. Now this was the very first debate without a woman. And boy, you could tell. Okay, the first 45 minutes to an hour, they were really, really boring. It wasn't very interesting. But then Bernie Sanders kicked in and he just started throwing punches out of left field at Joe Biden. Now, we already knew that Bernie Sanders was going to be coming for Biden's record because he knows that this next Super Tuesday is all that he has. He has to win very well so that way he can go full steam ahead if that's what he plans to do. But Joe Biden, I was actually so proud of him. You could tell that he was awake. He had some debate coaching because he was on it, okay? When Bernie was throwing those punches, you could tell that Joe Biden was coming right back at Bernie with his own punches, okay? Joe Biden even had a little bit of clap back. For example, Joe Biden told Bernie Sanders, I did this while you were watching, okay? He was referencing one of the bills that he passed, apparently while Bernie Sanders was watching. So I think that this was one of the best debate nights for Joe Biden. I mean, he did an incredible job, even down to the fact that he pledged that he would have a female vice president. When Bernie Sanders was asked this question, he kind of stuttered on the topic. He said that he would consider having a female vice president, but he said that he would mainly focus on having a female um, cabinet. So this was something to note, but I was so proud because Joe Biden does plan to have a female vice president. And I think that is very important, especially in this day and age. But another thing that I was able to notice throughout the debate was Bernie Sanders didn't really talk about anything new that he planned to do if he becomes president. All I noticed was that he was just really throwing punches at Joe Biden, whereas Joe Biden was mentioning plans that he plans to do if, if he becomes president, such as what he plans to do with the coronavirus and endorsing Elizabeth Warren bankruptcy bill. Now, this was great for him because he was able to show that he is embracing new ideas, but I really don't think that based off of Sunday's debate, Bernie Sanders was able to pick up any new supporters, whereas I think that Joe Biden was able to pick up new supporters and he could have even grabbed a few of the millennials. But overall, it was a great, great debate after the first hour and a half, but it was very interesting and I was able to see how both of the candidates were with pretty much just a one-on-one -on -one debate. And I think that it was set the stage basically for this next Super Tuesday and I can't wait to see what's next. Make sure that you guys subscribe to my Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube, which is Trinity Stokes. So that way you guys don't miss another video. Bye!